Oh, hello. Welcome to my fish crib. Come see what my fish eat. We got we got the blood worms. Big old pack. Got all the brine shrimp. Baby brine shrimp for the babies. Alright, let's go. Let's go down to the, the actual fish cave. Just got these uh, shrimp, uh, what, two weekends ago? Got quite a few for a pretty good deal. Gotta get some substrate in there. Probably gonna go with the white sand I got laying in the bucket. And they're growing pretty good. They're pretty healthy. With just uh, the regular water. Don't have to do nothing really too much with them. Thought they were gonna be a little harder. Got these guys about a month ago, month and a half ago. My Venezuelan orange quarries and my uh, my lemias. They're already breeding like crazy, my lemias, and I'm trying to plump up my quarries to get to that breeding size. And then uh, these guys, my uh, red grape sore tails, I got for uh, a steal on Facebook. And I uh, got nine of them. One decided to jump out. So this little tank, that's why it's got a lid on it now. It's got different co or sore tails in there. And uh, one of those, or two of those decided to jump out. So I uh, had to make shift the lid. We'll get back to that tank. But um, these guys started uh, breeding like crazy right away. I got about 50, 50 babies. They're doing really well. And then uh, in here, just got some new subscribe plants. Trying them all out. Seeing what works best for me. Uh, got, got these pandagaros, the bigger two. Um, pretty long ago, and they're, they're doing well. And just got these couple of babies uh, probably about a month and a half ago. They're starting to catch up. The eight banded barb in there, they're getting pretty big. They're probably double the size from uh, when I first got them. They're still a spooky fish, but they do come out when there's uh, some food hanging around. And back there, if you can get it, there's a hill stream loach, or they're hiding. Some of them are in the rocks. And uh, got those that are pretty small, and they're probably double, triple the size. They uh, A lot of people say that they're hard to, to keep going, keep alive, but they've been pretty easy, just like any normal bottom feeder. Just try and get them up big enough to breed. I uh, got the seal point angelfish. Got those about mm, two months ago at like a quarter size. Fatten them up. Got the slates in there to hopefully figure out which male and female get them to breed. Got the Congo tetras around the same time. Got to get them in a separate tank. And I'm pretty sure I can get those to breed pretty easily. Now back to this tank. Got this makeshift lid, wasn't too easy to make. Don't use this kind of acrylic. It bows with the heat of the water, just dripping on there. And I got flipping around every other day. Got these green sword tails, just got them and they dropped a bunch of babies. Trying to get those guys going. Figure those guys out, just a different uh, strain of koi or uh, sword tails. <clears throat> In here, we got a bunch of plants. Gotta, gotta get the Celestial Pearl Daniels uh, fry to live long enough to get pretty big so the, the guppies don't eat them. But that won't be too big of a problem pretty soon because the snowflake guppies are gonna go in that 10 gallon over there by the, by the shrimp. Just got those set up today to, to get them going so they can go in there. And um, these guys, the red or the blue fin red tail albino guppies. I, I think I gotta get more plants in there because they like to eat their babies. And I've only found two so far. And I've the two first pairs I got I've had for about a month and a half. And I just got the second two. What was it? Two weekends ago. So 
And I got two babies out of all that, and they breed every 30 days, so should have more. I think they've been eating them all. And this tank, grow out tank, so these guys got to get a little bit bigger. They'll eventually go into the 20 tall where the Lemia and the Venezuela orange quarries are. That's why there's slates in there, because then they can hopefully, I can hopefully figure out what's male and female and get them uh, laying and used to laying and whatnot. And these guys, the koi swordtails, they need to grow out so they can start breeding, hopefully too. And they're probably going to go in their own 20 long eventually once I get one set up. And these two little guys up here, that's uh, not doing so well. Uh, Pearl da or Celestial Pearl Daniel, so he's just kind of hanging out in there, and then a koi guppy who hitched a ride with the koi swordtail, so he's kind of just another oddball to keep the tanks going, I guess. If you like, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe to the Dank Fish Tank. You can also follow us on Facebook at the Dank Fish Tank. Subscribe, 